Hi everyone, welcome to the Nourish Me nutritional video series. I'll be posting a video every week for 12 weeks on various health topics. I'll be discussing all things health, diet and nutrition related. If you have any topics you'd like to discuss, please let me know and I'm happy to make a video on it. Today's video I'm going to be discussing poo. As a nutritionist, this is a common thing for us to talk about. Some people are quite uncomfortable about talking about poo, but I think we need to be a little bit more open. And in this video, I'm going to discuss why. So keep on watching. What is normal poo? For poo or feces or stool is a natural part of digestion. It's predominantly made up of water. Poop is a collection of undigested foods, mostly fiber, bacteria, protein, salts, and substances that have been released and produced by the small intestines. While people have different shapes and smells of poop, there are common normal aspects of normal poo that we need to consider. There's color of the poo. So poo is normally a brown color because of the presence of bilirubin. Bilirubin is a pigment of the byproduct of the breakdown of red blood cells. The smell. Who has a very unpleasant odorous smell due to the presence of old bacteria which can emit strong smelling gases. If the poo is too foul smelling, that may be an indicator that the gut health needs work. The frequency. A person may poop anywhere from every day to every three days, usually after a meal. Most people tend to poop around the same time each day. Consistency. Stool is usually soft but firm in appearance. It gets its shape from the small intestines, which has a log-like irregular appearance. However, some people may have deviations in the shape, which we will cover over a Bristol stool chart. This is what we use in clinic often. So a Bristol stool chart is a powerful tool for us to use as nutritionists when we sit down to discuss poop. We have from type 1 to type 7, starting from small pebble-like to liquidy. These can be different consistencies that people have within their poop and it's an important indicator of their health to the Bristol stool chart. It's a clear indication of whether something's wrong. So if you're experiencing a type 1 on the Bristol stool chart that is quite small pebbles, this may indicate that you're constipated. If you're experiencing a number four or three, which is in the middle here, these are considered quite normal. If you have liquid that is diarrhea, and that may be an indication of something going on which we need to explore. What does a person's poo color mean? Well, poop varies in various shades of brown. Sometimes from a greenish brown can be considered normal. Poop usually starts a greenish colour due to the presence of bile salts within the small intestines. These bile salts are yellow-green in colour. As the poop continues to travel through the intestines, the colour of poop changes due to the combination of bilirubin, which again is the breakdown byproduct of red blood cells. Sometimes poop can change colour based on a medical condition. Other times it can be related to food, drinks or medications that are consumed is black, often like a coffee ground-like appearance, that could be a sign of internal bleeding or upset within the gastrointestinal site. A green coloured pool stool can indicate the person's uh, body is moving through very quickly and digesting food too quick, which means it has more bile salts rather than bilirubin within the stool. Eating lots of green foods such as spinach and kale and food colouring in green can also make the poo look a little bit more green. A, pa a pale white or clay coloured stool may indicate lack of bile. This may be due to a problem with the liver or the gallbladder which both secrete bile. However, Taking some anti-diarrhea medication can also cause the stool to become white or pale in colour. A red stool can be quite concerning. It may indicate a possible gastrointestinal bleed. If the amount of blood is small, it may be due to hemorrhoids. If there's a larger amount of blood, it may be uh, pinpointed to the lower intestinal tract could be the source. However, a person's stool 
can turn red based on what they're eating and drinking again for example as I have said in the past eating a lot of beetroot can turn your poo a little bit of a pinky reddy color and so can tomato juice orange orange is also often caused by beta carotene which is found in uh, orange fruits and vegetables such as carrots and sweet potatoes Blocked bile ducts can also lead to orange stools and some medications can as well. A yellow, greasy or foul smelling poo can be the presence of too much fat in a person's stool and their diet. So sometimes this can be caused by a disorder as well, such as celiac disease. If a person experiences an occasional color change in their stool, this usually isn't concern for the person. However, if a red and black stool occur, as well as other changes that last longer than two to three weeks, you may need to see your GP. This is why it's so important that we discuss poo and you check regularly to make sure that you're having healthy bowel motions. So why do we need to check our poo? As I've discussed in this video, there are various things that we look for within our poo. It's important to keep an eye on how we're digesting our foods and how we're eliminating our foods. Maintaining bowel health regularly and consistency is important for proper elimination channels. Bowel consistency can change from a person who has a healthy diet and those who are having an unhealthy diet. Chronic constipation can lead to bowel obstructions and diarrhea in a chronic form can affect the person's ability to absorb nutrients. It's important to keep an eye on your poo and if you notice any changes, please see your GP. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you in future videos. Have a great day. Bye.